Hello everyone, we are back with our Arcanum game series walkthrough, let's play, whatever you want to call it. So let's uh, continue on. We have just completed the Isle of Despair, and now we have to go get some glasses to go to the Wheel Clan. Uh, I did get some stuff from being there. Um, we have the crystals to, so you need at least one crystal. But this guy right here, so this is fine. Uh, Raymond's Fine Spectacles. We can go in here and ask him to make him some, make us custom glasses. So can you make me some custom spectacles? Uh, there we go. He says uh, it's gonna cost a thousand coins and uh, yeah, a thousand coins and a Cathorn crystal. So that's fine, we have like 30,000 something gold. There we go. Uh, okay, wait, wait, thank you. So we have our glasses and we can just put them on. I don't think I have any helmets on anyway, so we'll put them on and then we can teleport to the wheel plan. Which is up here. Greetings, traveler. It seems to me that you're looking for answers. Perhaps it is time that I answered them for you. Alright, so this is Aranox. Um, he's the ultimate guy that we need to find more out about later on. So, what, who are you? Don't you know? Are you not the reincarnation of Nazruddin? Has it been so long that you don't recognize your old nemesis? Or perhaps you're not the living one after all. Merely a puppet playing his role. I don't know what you're talking about. I see. Perhaps you are not the living one. Perhaps Nazruddin, the coward that he is, will not heed fate's call and face me in the final battle. It would be so like him to do so. Who are you? I am he of the dark, the rightful ruler of this land, the vengeful god of Arcanum and its races. I am Aronax, and I have come to give you a message. And that message is? The message is this. Whether you are the living one or not, whether or not the coward Nasruddin hides in your bones or still rots in his grave, the inevitable will still come to pass. I am returning. It has already been set in motion, and there is nothing you can do about it. I am returning, and all will fall before me. Everyone you know, everyone you love. All right, face me as a warrior. Do you see my power? Do you yet understand? Perhaps I need to be more clear. No one is safe, traveler. No one. Not even you. Aranox. Remember what I have shown you here. Remember? And tell the world, Aronax is returning to Arcanum, and nothing, nothing will ever be the same. Farewell. So that's the uh, encounter that you have with Aronax. So you stand in this box with the glasses on. Um, if you don't have the glasses on, then you won't see this door, and therefore you cannot go in. So with the glasses on, you see the door. You can go in, and there's still dwarves here, so you're actually going to a place where there's still um, people. Okay, so I've come with grave news. I see the grave news indeed. You need to speak with King Thunderstone. His house is directly northeast of here, just through the center passage. Speak with him, and you will know what to do. Thank you, I'll do that. Alright, so let's go talk to the king.
Alright, so here's the king. Greetings, Traveler. I'm sorry, I don't believe we met. I am Ravendir Randavir Thunderstone, son of Longhair Thunderstone. I stand as chief, tin, and king in waiting of all the dwarves, both over and under mountains in the lands of Arcanum. Welcome to the caverns of the Wheel Clan. A pleasure, nice to meet you, Randavir. I have a few questions. Of course, what do you need? As you said, you are king in waiting? Yes, my father is unavailable, and I rule in his stead. But I am not the true king, and will not be as long as my father lives. I am only a king in waiting. I see. I am in need of your assistance. Of course, what do you need? I come with news of a most dire nature. Dire nature? What are you speaking of? I have a tale to tell. I see, and you say you've been to the Isle of Despair to confirm the story of Gunman or Bender. Yes, I was there, and there were no sign of the Black Mountain Clan dwarves. Is this troubles me, my friend. We were given assurance by Albert. Assurances. Bloody Metalingo. Blast them all to the dark depths. Blast who? The elves? What is going on here? This is an old and dark business the business of my father, and as I am his heir, it falls to me to make it right, but I know not what to do. He told me so little. What happened to your father, Rendevere? My father, great and solid log hair, Thunderstone, king of the dwarves. Do you know of him, stranger? Stories of his courage, of his strength, of his wisdom, my father, stone among stones, from out of the madness of the clan wars, he united as under one banner, under one king, through the sheer power of his will. Where is Randavir? What happened to him? It broke his heart, that heavy stone heart. He who warred against Lorik and Abjur in the pass of Gorgoth, who in victory burned Lorik alive along with tens of thousands of his dwarven followers. And this, this broke him like a child upon the stone of the world. Who is Rendevere? I need to know what happened here. It is as the Orbender told you. My father permitted the banishment of his own people by the elves. He watched them sent away, heard their cries. With hardness born a hundred generations of thunderstones. So where is he? My father came home and upon his knees cried out for the lost, foolish brethren. Tears of regret, stranger. Regret, shame, and sorrow. The caverns shook with his fury, shook at the impact of his hands upon bare stone. He tore the clothes from his body and set his bulk against the walls and the floors. And his sorrow was marked in blood. And then? I told you, he left us. Walked into the old caverns with nothing but Harrow, first axe of the Thunderstone, and with the that weapon he disappeared, exiled by his own grief, and left the Wheel Clan. He's never returned. Uh, Gunman spoke of a connection to Gilbert Bates. Bates. It was Bates who spread technology, and its disease, and who are to blame him. Humans, cursed with bravery. Lacking patience, lacking discernment. I spent human lifetimes deciding on what type of stone to use in a mural. And look what they've done in only a few turns of the moon. And with this, these elves came to us, speaking of punishments. The elves, what, what was their role in this? The elves. It was they who demanded the banishment of the Black Mountain Clan for their crimes. But as far as... The reason, as I said, I don't, I know very little. My father never told me of the details of the discussions with them. Only that what had been decided was necessary and the responsibility would be his. 
What did the rest of the clan say? The other clans never knew that the elves were involved in the banishment. They were only told that the Black Mountain clan had been exiled, punished for their crimes, and my father was the only one present when their sentence was passed. And the elves who approached him, who were they? No idea. They, and I not, and I know not, I know not why my father felt it necessary to speak with them, nor to heed their demands. As king, my father never showed, never should have allowed them to interfere, but for some reason he allowed it. He's never spoken a word about it since. It seems I need to speak with Lockhair. Where is he? I told you, exiled himself. He walked into the dredge and has never returned. The dredge, what is it? Where can I find it? The dredge is an old system of caverns, a mine actually. Not far from here, the entrance is just beyond the entrance to these chambers. Into the southeast. There you will find a stone archway. Beyond that you will find the dredge into which my father disappeared. What can I expect to find in this dredge? Right now it serves very little purpose but to house an assortment of foul creatures. There are minecart tracks and an occasional storeroom. No one ventures there anymore, so I don't know what... I don't know anything beyond that. You must know where he is. Can I convince you to tell me? Uh, no. I have no idea where he is. If you're looking to find him, you'll have to find him yourself into the dredge. But I will tell the guards to let you pass. I hope you find your answer, stranger. I see, then I will go now. Yes, you must go your own way on this, stranger. I will tell the guards at the entrance of the dredge to let you pass. Good day to you. I must go. Good day. Actually, you can get, uh, if you can get under this throne here, it takes you right to him. So if you have the persuasion, you can talk him into just opening this door. Other than, if not, then you have to go through the entire dredge. Which isn't bad. It's a good place for experience. Okay, so if you want to go to the dredge, I'm pretty sure it's this way. I think this is the passage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is Rainbow Dredge. Give him sent word to me about you. Uh, you can go down now. I would wait till later. We can go and get some quests here. There actually are quests you can do in, his, in this place. Let's go down to the next level. There's actually a store here, and actually there's an inn as well, so you can sleep here if you needed to. Um, some of these guys, they do give you quests, so I think this guy will give you a quest. What's your name? Uh, Thrain, Ironheart. Okay. Do you have time for more questions? One of the dwarven women, that's funny. That's a quote from Lord of the Wings. Okay, so you have to get out of that conversation, but he asked you if you ever happen to find yourself at Stonecutter Clan, could you deliver a message to my brother? He's been gone for some 15 years and I need his help back here. It's a bit of a layabout. 
if you get my meaning. Okay, I can do so. Uh, you do want to get the location though. Thank you. I have a quest to go into the uh, Stonecutter Clan. Stonecutter Clan. Alright, so the next guy we want to talk to is, I think, um, you guys are sleeping. Is it guards? Okay. Well, I think this guy is the next guy I want to talk to. Good day, sir. Eric Obsidian. Okay. Well, he's a historian, and he studies uh, Dwarven past. All right. Studying Dwarven legends and mythology, and recently I came across some interesting... Um, what did you find? Sorry about that, its possibilities are so exciting. Perhaps I could be more forthcoming. Dwarven mythology tells of an ancient race of dwarves whose civilization was filled with such wonders as the world has never known before or since. They were known as the Iron Clan. Okay. Well, no one knows... Um, so he has an old schematic. What is it? Schematics for a key, and the key uh, is for the iron entrance to the iron stone location or iron clan location. All right. So he doesn't have the time to go. Find the clan, and he wants us to help him. There you go. Um, pay or no pay? Okay. So he uh, he now wants us to go help him find the Iron Clan. Um, let's go talk to this guy here, and his name is Vegrand Vegard. Molten float. All right. Welcome to the Wheel Clan. A few questions. So okay, so this guy has a quest that to recover a lost item. Um, I used to go looking for the key, but once they closed the dredge, I can no longer do so. Lost the key. Okay. Perhaps I might retrieve that. Um, Alright. Done. I'll return with it shortly. So you definitely get that quest, because while you're down there, you can actually get the key. Um, I don't think this is anybody we need to talk to. So, uh, there's some shops you can go to if you wanted to. Okay, um, one more thing. We want to do a section called the mines. And this is important because we um, can, one, get experience, and two, there's a couple, couple of quests in there that we can uh, take care of. So, this is the smith... And this is the herbalist. Um, he does have some schematics that are pretty good, actually. You do crafting. This is the mines here. Um, we can go down this entrance and clear out the mines. And you will get quests down here. Level up. Uh, perception's low. Oh, I think I have those glasses on still. So, 
We have enough constitution. Enough spells. To get to this point now, we have to just start pumping in um, other areas. Here's some trapped miners. <laughs> they, they tell you about the uh, big giant spider over here. Arvid Millstone. Okay. So we need to kill the giant spider. Alright, we've killed the spider, so now we just go talk to this guy here. What's well, done? Also, look at the time. I see that I am going to need to wrap up the episode because the next part is going to be very long. Probably like 30 minutes in itself. So we'll make this a two-part episode. Uh, so for now, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. And hope you enjoyed this episode. And next time we'll pick up in the Dredge, which is the second part of the Wheel Clan. So we'll see you then, and bye.